all we do all day is have our little phones out writing down ideas for songs like that's what we do all day long every time we talk to somebody after a show it's like a potential idea for a song every time we like go to the store and we see something happening down the street like literally yeah, we yeah. get inspiration anywhere it's sort of ironic that we both love such sad songs yet all of our music ends up sounding super bubbly yeah I don't know how that happens. Somebody described them as cry jams, which I really endorse. Cry jams is such like a specific like <laughs> niche to fill that like someone like, has that's to. That's cool, <laughs> but but we like to we want to push ourselves to do more and we want to make you regular cry, <laughs> real cry. Even just between the two of us, sometimes we'll nitpick at each other and we'll like start prodding like into each yeah. other's love lives just to like get inspiration yeah. out of each other. One of my favorite things to do, and I think a lot of people do this, which is like. Uh, tons of writers do this, which is like you go into a session. There's like maybe three or four of you, and you just ask like, "So, what's oh, going yeah. on in your life?" It's like, "Oh, this this dramatic thing just happened." Like, "Oh, so how'd that go down?" Like, tell us a story about it. And it's like, and then she's like, "Yeah, that's your side of the bed." And it's like that. It will those those things will come up in conversation, and, and those pieces are usually the most honest because they actually were how somebody they describes mean something, something to somebody. You know? And then you pull a lyric or a concept oh. out of that. Oh, 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 get back. We should get back. You know. That's cool. I like that. When we're working together, we're more like we know what our groove is so well that we it doesn't really matter if we get into like a like a weird like debate or something over something specific because in the end we always know that it's gonna turn out. Like it'd be cool if it was maybe. I think baby, maybe we should. That's too long. Then we've never no, done that. The same. That's no, it's not. Maybe, maybe we should get... Because they want us to land on the lyric. So that's what... Do you see oh, what I'm doing? Oh, baby, going, maybe we yeah. got you. For me, like, it's all, like, it's such an enjoyable thing. Like, it was, it was like, my hobby that I was doing for fun whenever I had time until it became a job. We, we've been working together so long and continue to because the end goal always ends up, like, dope. So, uh... Yeah, that's how I see it. This is why we're a duo here, because she said something, I'm like, I know what you mean, let me just... <laughs> that's <laughs> pretty much how most songs how are written. Work. I don't know if other writers do the same thing, but certainly some do, but maybe not as common. Like, for us, we will usually get a piece, and then we'll know, like, okay, it needs to be this, and sometimes it'll take two weeks to get that. Uh, but we'll know, like, it needs to be that, so we just won't stop until we get it. But then you go back and you tweak and you tweak and you make it better, yeah. because if you really leave the room with, like... I mean, I always listen back to stuff and I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. And, and then you're like, okay, but now I know There's how to go piece. like from yeah. A to Z with, or like from like zero to a hundred with it and make it something cool into also something that's amazing. I've been picturing that for a long, long time. Uh, and that's still like what, what we're aiming for and what we plan to achieve.